Hello everyone and welcome to this week's extension quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to load or include external Node.js libraries into your extension. In this one, I'm going to be basically taking this font list loader uh, Node.js library, showing you how to install it and then use it and make sure you're getting it in the right folder location and then including it in the right location. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can get the extension testing starter code for this tutorial so you can follow along. And down there as well, make sure you follow us on Instagram. If you're not a member of our Discord server, you can join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us financially and get cool perks, you can become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. So first, let's make sure Node is working for our extension. I'm just gonna say const fs, and we're gonna try and require the file system here. I'm just gonna alert fs. If we get an alert, that means it is basically working, and Node.js is included properly, which is an important first step of this process. So as you can see, we get an object, which is perfect. Now, all you have to do is first pick a node library you'd like to include and make sure you have node installed on your computer. Then because we're going to be installing this into a location of our extensions, which are located here in our C drive, we're going to need admin privilege. So make sure you launch terminal or command prompt, whatever you use to install your Node.js libraries as an admin. So I'm going to launch mine here as an administrator. And now we need to CD into our location of our extension. So in my case, I'm using extension testing, and this is where we want to install it. So I'm going to copy this path to my Adobe CEP extensions, extension testing, and I'm going to CD paste that path. So now we're inside of this folder. Now we need to follow the instructions to install our node library. In this case, it's very easy. We're going to say npm install font dash list. Now I'm going to load up this folder here so we can see it as it installs. And if you get an error, just realize that might be because you're not running it as an admin. But as you can see, we have a package lock JSON and our node modules, uh, which means basically we've installed this correctly. Now we're going to replace this here, const fs with, um, what does it recommend, font list is equal to require font dash list. Now if I go ahead and alert below this my font list, let's see if we're getting this properly. So I'll launch my extension testing and we get an object. So we must be getting the font list appropriately. Now if we go back in and look at how we get the actual font lists, we need to call font list .get fonts. So let's go ahead and just say we can copy the syntax, I suppose. Say get fonts to actually initialize the getting of all the fonts. And then we'll use a dot then and some new ECMAScript, which I'm still getting familiar with. And we'll go ahead and alert fonts, I believe. Basically, you just want to copy the usage or whatever. If I run this, I'm going to now get a full list of all my fonts. Um, now take note, this isn't, of course, the postscript names, which you may need to actually change the font of a text layer or of a text attribute or a text prop. Um, but now if we can basically just say, you know, grab fonts zero, the very first font, or we could even grab a random font by saying fonts.length minus one. Um, actually, sorry, math.floor, math.random, times that, and that will give us a random font as well. So let's try that out. Okay. Abigail is our first font, and then a random one here, Peachy Keen JF. So all you have to do again is make sure you have Node.js enabled in your extension, which you can check out the other tutorial I've made on doing that. Uh, then make sure it's working, of course. Install it into the proper directory. You want it to be in the base directory here, uh, with your index.html. Uh, that way when we include it, it knows that it's going to be in that, that root folder. Otherwise you may need to s say, use a specific folder. Like if you put it inside of, I don't know, JS or something like that, then you could do the font list in there. But it's easiest if you just put the 
installation in the base root folder and then you can go ahead and copy any usage that the uh, the guide gives you for that particular library and in this case we get all of the fonts that we need but that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did hit the thumbs up button down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description you can check out the code for this to get started the extension testing code that is and you can also follow us there on github for coding updates and in the description follow us on instagram for other updates as well if you're not a member of our Discord server, come and join and get help with scripting extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with our members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us financially, link in the description to become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, where you can get cool perks, including Discord member status. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.